Rock engravings. Greek petroglyph means rock and to engrave. Are found on the walls and ceilings of caves as well as on pieces of rocks in the open air. During the times when humanity had not yet created tools, arts, crafts, sciences, and alphabets, they had found another means to express themselves. This was engraving on a rock using pieces of rocks as tools. This is the most ancient art ever known to us. Other than being an extremely interesting type of art, it is a great source of information for discovering the history and culture of our ancient ancestry. The rock engravings found in Armenia date back to the 7th to 2nd millenniums BC. Rock engravings found on the slopes of Mount Arakat, Kerama mountain range, as well as Mount Uhtasar and Mount the Jermajur are better studied. The majority of these rock engravings were discovered after the 1920s by archaeologist Ashkarape Kalantar. Later on, archaeologist Sardarian discovered many groups of rock engravings on the slopes of Mount Arakat and Kerama mountain range. In 1966, specially rich centers of rock engravings were discovered in Sunik, Mount Uhtasar and Djermajur. In 1968, rock engravings were discovered in the Martuni region. In 1967 to 1968, the archaeological expedition of the Institute of Archaeology of the Academy of Sciences of Armenia discovered thousands of rock engravings. The central themes of the rock engravings discovered in the Armenian highlands deal with the life of the prehistoric man and his or her perception of the supernatural powers. Many scientists believe that the rock engravings have magical, supernatural, cosmological, and religious significance. The dominating symbol in these rock engravings is the picture of goat. This might be the reason for calling the rock engravings of Armenia goat letters as well. There are rock engravings consisting of many pictures or just a single picture. The engraver chose the size and the shape of the rock according to the composition. The natural and rich color of the rock had an artistic significance. The main colors of the rocks used were copper and rosin. In general, the depth of the engravings are 2.6 millimeter and the width of the lines are 2.21 millimeters. The engravings illustrate naked, clothed, or armed people, hunters with bows, arrows, spears, and shields, expressive scenes of the hunter and its prey, and many others. The engraving masters have also depicted the wild and domesticated animals of Armenia in their rock engravings like goats, mouflons, gazelles, deers, oroches, horses, boars, dogs, wolves, jackals, panthers, bears, and lions. They also engraved scenes of hunters with bows, arrows, spears, pikes, as well as boomerangs, traps, and different types of carts. These prehistoric masters had refined artistic taste and thinking, and they were very skilled in their art. They presented their subjects with distinctive style. For example, the animal in motion is depicted with three legs to emphasize speed. This is the type of art where the idea or the picture is fully transmitted by just using very few strokes. This is true especially in the case of animals where the type of goat or the domesticated and wild animals are easily distinguished. The rock engravings also represent themes of fertility like the images of mating goats and their offsprings. The rock engravings show beautiful scenes from worship and ceremonial dances where the masters have included magical rituals of nature, fertility, floral and animal growth, and successful hunting. These dances contain theatrical elements. The knowledge of human body, the flexibility of movement, the plasticity of the animals during attacks or flight are very impressive. 
Besides the hunters and the spear throwers, we also encounter men with interesting headgears like horns or halos which symbolize magicians. In some rock engravings, we see a man standing on the horns of a wild goat, which is also seen in the Hittite, Median, and Urartu art. The succession of scenes of some rock engravings leave the impression of reading a story from a book, and one realizes that the creation of the alphabet is a direct continuation of this art. The art of sculpturing, painting, and all other forms of art are descendants of rock engravings as well. Until today, the rock engravings manage to fascinate, inspire, and contribute to different domains of art and culture. The effect of the rock engravings is apparent in many works of art done later on in history.